We had the same opportunity, by the way, to get rid of unsound banking during the 1933 and the Great Depression. The banks were going under; they're going, they were collapsing as we as we spoke. And uh, but, the, but we had two alternatives then. One is the alternative to allow them to go bust, and that's it. We go back to the hard, hard, hard gold currency. Forget about paper money and fractional reserve banking. The other route was taken, of course, by Roosevelt, and would have been taken by Hoover, which was, of course, to save the banks go on to a paper finance standard and all the rest of it, have guaranteed deposits and all the rest of it. Now, some of my close friends are in favor of eliminating the FDIC government insurance and substituting private insurance, okay, private, privately financed deposit insurance. Well, I'm not against them. If you want to, if you want, it's like an entrepreneurial point. If you want to set up a private ins deposit insurance corporation, you're free to do it. It's just you undoubtedly go bust. Uh, the, uh, remember what happened to the Ohio and Maryland private insurance, deposit insurance firms a few years ago. Uh, one, one bank was a crooked bank, and that went under. Immediately all the other banks, the people got scared, and the bank run occurred. The bank run, by the way, is a beautiful and magnificent institution, so like spread like that. And uh, once it's spread, nothing can be done about it. And I think um, that's an instructive lesson, because the banking system is the only industry in the United States I know of which rests only on public confidence. You know, they always talk about, hey, we can't tell the public that the SNLs are collapsing because it would, it would ruin the confidence of the public. You don't see that apply in any place. Else. Nobody talks about the importance of confidence in the computer industry or confidence in the TV industry. They've got TVs to sell, right? They've got computers, which are good, and they work. Confidence rests on the, on the, on the soundness of the product, not on flim flam and smoke and mirrors, which it does in the fractional reserve banking system. That's why confidence is all important, because they ain't got the money there, folks. <laughs> ain't got the money. <laughs> now, there's a dispute among my friends about whether the public thinks that their money is there on the banks. <laughs> I, I, I mean, take a poll, I think they all think it's there. I mean, even my students have a year, after a semester of brainwashing, still really believe it's there. <laughs> so, so they think the money is there. They don't think it's going to be loaned out somewhere and it ain't there. So anyway, that's, I think, uh, again, an instructive lesson which should be learned. To me, the idea of insuring the fractional reserve banking system or insuring the SNL is very much like insuring the Titanic after it hit the iceberg. <laughs> no percentage. You're free, you're free to in the free market to do it, but there ain't, ain't much percentage in it. <laughs>